These are radiation safety technicians Amanda and Krishna. In this video, they will demonstrate the process of receiving radioactive material and documenting usage. Let's start off with ordering. When you put in an order for radioactive material, make sure you include your radioactive project number and a contact name with the order. This makes it easier for us to get you your material in a timely manner. Once we receive it, one of our handy dandy technicians, such as Amanda, will make sure the package is safe for pickup. Once the package is inspected and logged in, we will notify your office or deliver it to your lab. If we call you, you may come to pick up your package from 367 Clinical Sciences North. When you come to get your material, a radiation safety technician will record your name and release the package to you. You do not need gloves to pick up your package. Your package will have a dispensing log attached to it with instructions for inspecting it on the back. Once you receive your material, make sure to check the contents. Put on your lab coat and wear gloves when opening the package. It is best to open the contents in a radioactive fume hood, but if you don't have one, a radioactive work area will do. Once you have opened the package, you will find your material as well as the manufacturer's documents. Visually inspect the inside for leaks or discolorations that may be contamination. Krishna doesn't see any leaks, so she uses filter paper to swipe the inside of the package and the container holding the material, then uses a survey meter to check for contamination. The paper is clean, so she removes her material and checks the packaging away from the source to make sure it is not contaminated. If Krishna ordered tritium, she must take her swipes of the container and packaging and use a liquid scintillation counter to determine if the package is contaminated. Your radioactive material may come in several different types of containers. If everything is okay, write the shipment number on the container. The number can be found at the top of the dispensing log. Writing the number on the container makes it possible to inventory your isotopes. You are now ready to store your material in a designated radioactive fridge, freezer, or other appropriate storage place. Record your starting activity and volume of material on the dispensing log and post it on the front of your storage location. Now that your material is safely stored, you may dispose of the packaging. Before you do, remember to deface the radioactive labels on the box. The labels can either be a radioactive material accepted label, a radioactive white 1, yellow 2, or yellow 3 label. They may also be printed on the box. You can deface them by going over them with a permanent marker or by ripping them off and shredding them. Any way you do it, be sure that the label is not recognizable as radioactive when you throw it out. Finally, let's cover properly recording what you use. Whenever you use your isotopes, you should record the date and approximate volume or activity used on the stock solution dispensing log. It is also important to write down how much you throw out in waste. If you throw any out in the solid waste containers, be sure to annotate your radioactive waste logs properly. If you dispose of any waste down the sink, be sure to annotate it on your low level sewage waste log the same day. At the end of every month, you will receive a monthly radionuclide inventory. To fill this out properly, find the section that says Inventory of Unsealed Materials. There will be a list of all the materials assigned to your project number. To the right of them will be a section with asterisks. Fill the applicable amounts in these columns. For instance, if you have disposed of 80 microcuries down the drain, you will mark 0.08 millicuries in the sewage column. Always remember to convert microcuries on your waste logs to millicuries for the inventory. Likewise, say you disposed of 40 microcuries in solid waste, you will write 0.04 millicuries under the dry solid column. When you are done, calculate your decay. In this example, we have 0.03 millicuries in decay. When you are done, sign the form and return it to radiation safety. So remember, after you order the package, a radiation safety technician will call you to pick it up. Once you receive the package, inspect it for contamination. Deface the labels, throw away the packaging, and properly record your usage of materials. 
If you have any questions about receiving packages, documenting your usage, or if you find anything wrong with your shipment during your inspection, contact the Radiation Safety Section at 67429 or 6SAFE after hours.